dirty-ass hater who is, man, you'll never have a hater that's doing better than you. Always know that. Don't get off the wall to dress some pity any ass boy who ain't got shit going for himself. Now you done stopped your climb up on the wall so you can come down here and talk to his little punk ass. Don't do that, man. I, 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 I stay away from it. Now do I want to? Yes. Because I'm a human being and I'm hood. I used to be a fighter and I still got hands. They slow, but if you get up on me real slow, I can still knock your monkey ass out. I just don't have the quickness I have, but I still know how to turn my hip and shift that weight and I knock your short ass out. I shoot your perm straight out your head. What's up? This bruh man from the fifth float, and you tuned in to Forgotten Kings TV. Let's talk about it, y'all. Over the weekend, comedian Steve Harvey sent some shots at Cat Williams while sitting down with Stephen A. Smith at InvestFest, okay? It's obvious Steve Harvey is one of many comedians who are still upset with Cat Williams' explosive interview early this year on Club Shay Shay. As we all know, Cat Williams' name dropped several comedians, and of course, Steve Harvey's name was brought up, okay? Now, to be fair, Cat Williams isn't the only comedian to make claims against Steve Harvey. For those who may not know, early this year, the legendary Mark Curry sat down with Willie D from Ghetto Boys. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description so y'all can check out the interview. But Mark Curry accused uh, Steve Harvey of stealing some of his material as well. So to be fair, Cat Williams isn't the only comedian to have something to say, right, about Steve Harvey. So for whatever reason... Uh, while speaking about his haters and how he goes about dealing with haters, he found a way to let the people know at InvestFest, listen, man, I still got hands, okay? I might not be as quick, but, you know, run down on me, and you're going to see these hands. This is what Steve Harvey's saying, okay? You cannot make this shit up in 2024 for whatever reason. <laughs> this is what Steve Harvey felt the need to say while speaking with Stephen A. Smith at InvestFest, right? And as we all know, Stephen A. Smith damn sure ain't got no hands. We can roll the footage so you can check it out for yourself. But it's interesting that, you know, Steve Harvey talking about throwing the hands with Cat Williams in 2024, man. For those who may not know, Cat Williams is preparing for, you know, for his next tour, Heaven on Earth, that starts... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, at the beginning of next year. So right now, Cat is, you know, working on new material. And I'm pretty sure we're going to hear Cat send some shots back at Steve Harvey. Uh, but again, this is where we are with it, man. Steve Harvey sending a message to Cat Williams uh, while addressing his haters, letting the world know, listen, man, don't think I don't have these hands, okay? I used to be a boxer. <laughs> he used to be a fighter. Listen, man, Steve Harvey, just, you know, stick to doing what you've been doing. I don't think anyone wants to see Steve Harvey in the ring with Cat Williams. But then again, you know, for entertainment purposes, for the right bag, <laughs> come on. People, I'm pretty sure they'll entertain it. But truth be told, the real matchup is Cat Williams and Kevin Hart. For those who may not know, next year on March 28th, both Cat Williams and Kevin Hart will be in Baltimore, man. Both headlining their shows. And uh, if y'all don't know, this is going to be a crazy night in Baltimore. And for the record, you know, Cat dethroned Steve Harvey back in his heyday. For those who may not know, they had a little comedy battle, a little roast. And, you know, Cat took the victory. So it'll be interesting to see um, how this, you know, pans out moving forward. Because, again, I'm pretty sure uh, Steve Harvey is one of many comedians who are upset with Cat Williams and his comments in his Club Shay Shay interview. But, you know, here we are with it, man. Y'all let me know. What are your thoughts on Steve Harvey sending shots at Cat Williams talking about he going to throw the hands, man. Do you think Steve Harvey really can throw the hands? I mean, come on, man. I know he's a comedian telling jokes, and that might be one of the funniest jokes I heard from Steve in a long time, talking about throwing them hands. Boy, then he up there with Stephen A. Smith. We already know, okay? He can't punch himself out of wet paper bag. We already know that about Stephen A. So the fact that they got them up here talking like this, Listen, man, salute to whoever was running, you know, InvestFest, trying to entertain the people. I'm pretty sure people got their money's worth. A lot of game, a lot of wisdom. But again, y'all let me know, man. What are your thoughts on Steve Harvey sending shots at Cat Williams, man? Can you believe this shit? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But listen, man, this is all I got for y'all today. Again, my name is Sensei Rip. Till next time, peace. Steve, you funny as hell, man. You funny for that. I'm out, y'all. Peace. 
Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace. You now tuned in to MREC TV. If someone wasn't on protocol, there are consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Kings of Comedy, this your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Troncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You no, know, I know me old. He fucked with lambskin condoms. I don't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The fuck wrong with you? Aldi's, you shouldn't eat this. We don't know what the fuck that meat is. Prison. That's not the, the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my sister. Ain't no point of both of us get. I step up, look him right in his eyes. He go to pat me down. Twenty dollars, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no sir. Punchline, punchline, punchline. You know how we turn. Give me a second.